Well, I'm so excited you're joining me today because if you allow it to, what we're talking about today is going to be a game changer for you. Hi, my name's Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women over 50 who are getting happy and growing younger. If this is your first time joining us, you are most welcome. Please subscribe, 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 subscribing even. Please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out, which tends to be on a Monday. That's our time together. Okay, so the reticular, the reticular activating system then doesn't sound very exciting, does it? But I promise you, it is. So much so, this is going to be a two-part video. So, I'm guessing some of you already know what it is. Uh, for those of you who don't, I'm just going to very quickly and simply, of course, <laughs> um, tell you what it is or explain to you what it is. Now, reticular activating system is a bit of a mouthful, so I'm going to call it your RAS. Okay, your RAS. Right then, so now, if you think about it, every single moment your brain is bombarded with billions of bits of information. You know, when you're walking through the city, billboards, other people, cars, uh, what you can see whilst you're walking, anybody that's talking to you, all those kinds of things and things that you are not conscious of. Your brain is being bombarded with all of these bits of information. Now, if you took it all in, you'd be constantly walking around like this, <laughs> wouldn't you? Um, you'd be totally crazy with a permanent headache if you had to take all this information in. Oh, honestly, your bonkers brilliant brain, it's just incredible because in order to protect your brain from being overloaded by all these billions of bits of information, you have a reticular activating system. Now, it's very deep in the brain, and it's like a web-like formation of nerve cells deep within your brain. I think it's kind of here, um, between the brain and the spinal cord. Now, it when it's kicked into activation, it activates the whole of your brain, so the whole of the cerebral cortex, and it's that's flooded with energy and the energy level of increase of arousal is increased in that part of your brain ready to interpret all of this information because of course it's not just about taking information in it's interpreting that information too and this is what the RAS does now importantly it helps to filter out the unnecessary information or most importantly it filters out the unnecessary information for you personally. What it filters out for you is probably, diff well, most likely different to what it filters out for me. Okay, so I'm talking to you now, and you and your brain and your RAS, and what your RAS filters out for you. Okay. Um, so it filters out what's important to you. It all well, it only allows what's important to you to get through into your brain, ready for your brain to interpret that. How does it do that? How does it know what's important to you? Well, it knows because of your experience so far, your life experiences so far, the belief systems that you have created and designed for yourself and the things that you focus on all of those things that your brain knows about you is uh, what helps the reticular activating system to filter out what's important to you this is why it's such a you know this is why it's so personal obviously so the RAS then takes what you focus on and creates a filter for that it's just so it's this when I first started to study this, it gave me tingles. It, it really gave me tingles. I have been conscious of it, um, but studying it really gave me the tingles because this your RAS only then presents to you 
information that is important to you and crucially that validates your belief systems that validate your belief systems etc um just let me give you just let me give you an example so when i say i became conscious of this that it was there many years ago between i have three children mitchell charlotte and josh as you know charlotte um, Charlotte left us last year. Um, I still have three children. Okay, so between Mitch and Charlotte, we had a miscarriage. Now, those of you who have suffered from a miscarriage will understand that the emotions of that are all consuming, uh, which of course they were. And from that moment on, when we lost that baby, and I was probably about 12 weeks, uh, when I went outside, the world was pregnant. The world. I mean, everybody was pregnant. It got to a point where I had to stay home. I couldn't go out because the world was pregnant. Now, of course, the world wasn't pregnant, but because being pregnant was so important to me at that time and so much what my reticular activating system was focusing on, all I saw were women who were pregnant. Okay. Um, on a more, on a lighter note than that, when I bought my first uh, fabulous ice white a convertible car, which I bought myself and was incredibly excited about it. I thought, nobody else has got one of these. Of course, the minute I bought it and got out, of the, onto, out onto the road, every other car that passed me was an ice white convertible. Go figure. Well, this is it. This is go figuring. This is why that happened. Because before I had an idea that I wanted to buy an ice white car and then bought it, I wasn't focused on the ice white cars that were passing me on a daily basis. I didn't see because I had no intention and no focus and no idea about them. The minute I did, that's when I started to see them. Can you see? Is the penny kind of dropping here? We might be able to uh, use this and why it's so important to us for you to know about it on Happy Stuff and Fluff. Okay, so then your RAS. This is how it influences the world around you. Now, just let me show you again something, an exercise I hope is going to work across the airways. <clears throat> Works when I'm doing this with a, a live group. Let's give it a go. So what I want you to do is um, I want you to close your eyes just for a second. Do it now. Close your eyes. Now, I want you to think of the colour green. Okay, obviously, if you're listening only to me and you're driving, please don't close your eyes. But, there, okay, so your eyes are closed. You're thinking about the colour green. In a second, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and as quick as you can, I want you to spot around the room what you have in your room that is green. Are you ready? Open your eyes, do it now. Okay, come back to me. Look at me now. So... You were thinking about the colour green. The minute you opened your eyes and shoot around the room, you picked out the things that were green more easily because you'd been thinking about the colour green beforehand. Okay. Now, without looking, tell me what you saw in your room that was the colour blue. <laughs> Assuming, of course, you've got something in your room that was the colour blue. The point I'm making is... You don't know what you have in your room that's blue because when you were looking a second ago, you were only looking for something green, not something blue. The something blue is there, but you didn't see it because you were looking for the colour green. This is, this is such a light bulb, aha moment, which it was for me. Um... It, this is just unbelievable in all kinds of ways. And we'll come back to that exercise in the next part. But for now, oh, what I want to say is, this is when I say, look for the good. <clears throat> excuse me, remember this quotation. When I say, look for the good, it's not just a nice thing to say. Once you start to look for the good and it becomes your intention, guess what happens? Your Raz 
starts to filter for you and starts to present the things that are good and not necessarily the things that are bad because you're focusing on looking for the good. Your Raz helps you just to see the good. You see how easy this is? Now, obviously, if you've gone your whole life uh, being negative, this might take a bit of practice. Please practice it. Please practice it. This is why over the last few weeks on this channel, during all the mayhem, for whatever reason we've been struggling with in the world, I've asked you to focus on the positive and to being optimistic. Or I've focused on that on this channel, hopefully, um, so that you will also focus on that and start to attract more of that into your life rather than uh, be swallowed up by all the negativity. So this is kind of the science behind that. You know, it isn't just when I say look for the good or when you see quotations like this. Um, this is what's behind it. You know, really, it's the science behind um, The Secret. I don't know if you ever watch The Secret. Um, it's the science behind that, really. It's about thinking about what you do want and not what you don't want. That's where this comes from. And believe me, believe me, this works. Now, unfortunately, it does work the other way around. As I say, if you constantly focus on the negative, then your RAS is going to filter out negative things to present to you. You see how dangerous that is. You see how dangerous that is. Um, and also then, if your belief system, because you've been a negative person, kind of says the world is a bad place to be in, then your RAS is going to filter out all this negativity, which indeed is going to um, confirm to you that, yes, the world is a bad place to be in, because that's what you're seeing. And that's what your RAS is presenting to you. Oh, goodness gracious me. Um, you know, the good things are there, just like the blue was there when you're looking for green, but you're so busy looking at the negative, you don't see the good. Ooh, what do you think about that then? Oh, my word. Um, yeah, so when you hear that saying, focus only on what you do want and not what you don't want, this is why. This is what happens. This is why you need to start to help yourself to change those negative thoughts for positive ones so that your Raz can keep attracting and filtering good things to you. Oh, I'm going to leave that one there today. Uh, part two, I'm going to go more into how you can start to use it strategically to help you or to prime your life for success, whatever success means to you. Okay. Oh, I hope you are. Uh, I hope you're feeling good and that you're getting used to slowly um, going back out into the world. Please tell me you're taking your vitamin D. Please take your vitamin D as you are going back out into the world and into contact with people. I know in parts of the world, in the US, it's happened in the UK where um, the COVID has come back and hit sometimes. That, that um, you know, there's now a rise in COVID. Well. Start thinking this way. Please keep taking your vitamin D. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link here and stay safe until I see you next time, <laughs> uh, which I can't wait for. I'll see you next time. And until then, remember that on the Happy Stuff and Fluff, we are getting happy and growing younger. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.